Hi, in this video I will show you how you can set up a new user and where you can enter all your um, recorder information. So first we select this link right here for new users and we are going to fill in all this information right here. So we select a username, let's say recruiter and we give it an email like I'm going to use one of mine and a username to use a login and a password just use a simple one right here I agree to the terms and this is actually going to be the name of the recruiter so the one who is we will be sending the emails as well. So uh, let's, for example, say we are uh, Google, and then we press register. So now our account is already created. It's um, very simple. So now we can log in. We had the name recruiter and our password was one two three we're going to sign in and as you can see there is nothing here yet uh, let me see yep this is showing just a little bit more so first of all now that we are here in this um, section we are going to create a settings that's over here so we're going to press that button Is that, yep, you can see that and now you're going to fill in the information you see right here so you can select a country it's not um, re required this is your email address from this email you will be sending your emails uh, if you leave these two fields empty it means you will not use your gmail account so that's just fine your manychat api you have to fill that in um, if you don't enter something here it will not work so make sure you check where you uh, in your manychat account under your settings you will find an, a link that says API let's just show you that for a second here it says API and you click generate token as we just did and you will get this token so you just copy that put that in here then on these two spots you enter the flow idea for the confirmation or the um, the flow that will let your candidates know that they moved on to the next round so that is here in this one the progress flows folder and you have the approved candidate so that will mean they move to the next round or the declined one which is of course uh, the one that mentions that they are declined as you could see in the previous videos where you can find the um, chatbot identifier or the flow identifier it's the same for this one um, you can find it in the address bar on top and it will start with content for this particular one it is I will just write it down in a sticky right up here flow ID 
is and there you go so that's the one for this one which is the approve candidate flow so what we're going to do is it's this one and the other one for the decline email and message it is over here we're going to put that in a sticky note as well just gonna copy that from the address bar put it in a comment sticky note flow id and there you go so that's uh, for your reference and we are going to put that one up here and now the basics are filled in we can just press sub or the calendly you still have the calendly uh, link you can uh, fill in your own calendly agenda url over there this one is used in certain emails where the placeholder is calendly so um, you either fill in your agenda url here or you remove the uh, calendly reference from your emails so submit and now these settings are updated so what's next now you can choose email template and as you can see there are several emails here you can select one get template and you can see here is a preview of the message and you can change everything that is inside these body tags so this section right here this means a break a line break so if you want more space between the sentences you can add more of these it's bit basic html so um, if you want something special i suggest you um, google a little about html but it's pretty basic so i think um, you will know what to do you can change each template for each recruiter so there's um, various templates for example this decline template which which will just say uh, unfortunately you have been declined and a phone interview look at this one As you can see it says URL right here which means the Calendly URL you can see right here what these placeholders will be replaced by so for example the sender SIG that will be the Google Inc name so that's it as far as the html templates are concerned on the home page you will find an overview of all the candidates that are in your account and as soon as you uh, have a job connected to a candidate you can use this pull down menu and you can just um, um, select just the candidates that are assigned to a certain job these four links are just segmented links so whatever is on the home page it will be separated by these four subjects so now we add a job which is um, the basic of this
program job reference it's uh, just a code most uh, recruiters have a code for a um, for a vacancy an application number so we just uh, fill in something here something like that it's not important right now maybe a little shorter so something like that job name it's a uh, remote sales manager whatever and a short description you will manage sales whatever submit and now there is a new job as you can see right here all the jobs are saved right here right now uh, you cannot edit them or remove them at this point but um, this will probably be a feature for later releases this is um, a sample of what a link should look like inside your many chat flow um, like the end link where uh, you will send all the candidates um, when they've finished your interview I will show you where that is and for now I will also show you what you need to fill in here this is the link savecandidates.php and there you see this query string and what you fill in here is the r underscore uid equals recruiter id so that's the number you see right here which will always be the same for this account because you have one account for each recruiter so that will be this number and at this section job ref equals job reference you will put this code under reference so as soon as you did that each candidate will be saved in the exact um, with the exact um, details so you can later I use the pull down menu to specify what job you are looking to manage at, the po at that point. So let's have a look inside ManyChat and change this one for that job. So the job reference is this number. We will go to the WebView version it's the last step let's check it out this one 100% done saving applicant data so that's where the link is to save all the candidate information which is this one and as you can see job ref we just copied it i'm gonna paste it right here and the recruiter id was 999 1001 so i'm going to change that as well 999 1001 in the body you just add this one add full subscriber data just click that and it will save all the information you need to um, write to the database publish and now all data will be saved in your database matching the recruiter and the job reference of course I showed you how you can create a web view in previous videos so and this is just a link to uh, the other website where you can create those web forms if there's um, anything special you need to know please let me know and if you need help creating those web forms I'll be uh, here to help as well this concludes this video I hope it was um, helpful and if you have another question please let me know